Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how you can use GPT prompts to extract information from any documents. Thank you for watching my videos and thank you for subscribing to my channel. So if you have seen my previous video where I showed you how you can use the AI model, the pre-built AI model in Power Automate to extract information from an invoice. We're going to do the same thing but this time I'm going to show you how you can use the GPT prompts to extract information from invoice. So this is my SharePoint. It's the same SharePoint that I have used in my last video, the same list, the invoice library. And I will add a link in this description if you would like to watch the previous video. So in this list, I'm going to drag an invoice here. Okay, so invoice is uploaded here. Now what I have behind the scene, I have a Power Automate flow that's going to trigger based on this file. And in that flow, I'm using GPT prompts to extract the invoice detail. Okay, so as you can see here, the information from this invoice has been extracted and updated into the library. So if you want to build something like this, stay tuned. So the first thing that you need, of course, you need this library that you want to create. Now, if you are not using this method for invoice, and if you are using this for any other type of document, definitely you just need to create a library and add the columns for which you want to extract information. Okay. Now we are going to log into make.powerautomate.com to create the flow. Okay. So I logged into my Power Automate. We will go to the AI hub here. This is where you get all the prompts, pre-built model, and you can actually start creating your own prompts or your, your own custom models. From here, if you go to the prompts, there are many prompts available by default that Microsoft has created for us to use. Uh, what we're going to use, we're going to use extract information from text. Once you click on that, uh, that prompt, it will give you uh, information that what that prompt is actually doing. So as you can see here, it is extracting a specified entity. I will talk about what the entity means. It is nothing but the information. So you can say, okay, I want this information from this text. Okay, so here it's saying that extract information from a particular text. What we're going to change here, instead of text, we're going to replace this with the document. Okay, but you can use this particular prompt to extract information from the text as well. So for example, if you are not receiving invoices as an invoice document, but you are, you are receiving the invoice in an email, you can use this prompt and use text and then extract similar entity or columns information. Okay. Now, how you can use it. So you need to click in this open in prompt builder because you need to start working on this prompt and change it and make it more applicable to our use case. Always good to rename this so that you can easily find it later. Okay. Now, uh, it is saying extra information to entity. Now, what is the entity is? If you click on this input and you can see the entity information. So name entity and for this sample use case, it is saying that extract the container number or registration number. This is not what we want. What we want though, this. We want invoice number, invoice date, vendor address, customer address, invoice amount, total tax amount, and the item detail, right? Typical information that we get in an invoice. The second, it's not going to be taxed. So we need to replace this with our custom input that is going to be a document. So cancel it, click after the provided, click on add, and here we're going to select the image or documents. Okay, click OK. Give it a name. So we're going to call it invoice. If we are using this for invoice, you can call it something else if you are using this for other purpose. And click add input. Okay, so now what we have changed, we changed from this text to the document. And you can delete this text as well because we are not going to use this prompt for text. Okay. Now let's read this prompt because this is very important. What you're going to write here, that's what it is going to do. This is perfectly fine. But if you look at any invoice, so for example, this is a sample invoice, right? Okay. So invoice generally have the vendor address, the invoice number, and also has the total amount, tax amount, and also line items. Okay. And that's the information that we are trying to get. But if you look at the item detail here, it is one invoice can have multiple line item. So we need to make some changes here so that 
this prompt can understand the data and also give you the output the way we want this output, right? Okay, I'm gonna remove this particular line because I don't want a flat response because I want a response that is going to be my invoice number, total invoice amount, total tax at the top level. And then I want to have more uh, child items for all those line items for item quantity, descriptions, unit price, and item total, right? So I'm gonna replace that particular section with custom prompting here. It's saying combine item quantity, item description, item unit price, item total as nested out. So once you're done with this, I'm gonna click save. So at least it will save. And then we're gonna test our prompt with a sample document. And if everything looks good, then we're gonna save it and use it in our Power Automate. Okay, so I uploaded the sample document here and I'm gonna click test prompt. Okay, so as you can see here, it actually extracted the information, right? So my invoice number is here, date is here, vendor address, customer address, total invoice amount, tax, and then you can see my nested information about the line items. So it seems working as expected. Now, of course, you can add more fields if you want to extract more information from the invoice or any document that you are planning to use. Click Save. Now we will create a new flow. Okay, it's going to be an automated flow when a file is created. Okay, I'm gonna rename this. Always rename your flow so that you can use, understand them after a certain time. Okay, I selected the site address and my library is going to be invoice. So whenever someone is going to drop a document to the invoice library, this flow will trigger. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do, uh, this, this trigger is gonna just give us the property of the file. But for extraction, we need the actual file content. So we'll say get file content. And of course, you're gonna select the site address again. And in file identifier, in your trigger, you are getting the, the the detail about the identifier, select that, okay? This action will give you the file content. Now the next step is going to be AI Builder. This is where we're gonna use the GPT prompt and then select our custom prompt that we created. So create text with GPT using a prompt, you're gonna select that. On in the drop down, you should see the prompt that you just created. So extract information from invoice demo. This is what we created, correct? And once you select that, it's gonna ask you two information, invoice and entity. Invoice is nothing but your file content. An entity, you can just copy the exact same fields that you actually used in your custom prompt when you are building it, okay? So this is nothing but the field name that you want to extract. That's the entity, as I told you. Click Save, okay? I'm gonna quickly run this to show you the output and then I'll talk about the next step. I'm gonna select manually, test. I'll go to my library. I'm dra dragging the invoice here. Okay, so flow is triggered. And now we will see if this particular section completed. So it's completed successfully. Now, if we go back here and look at this information. So in text, so this is one of the output call it text, we are getting the extracted data and then we are getting invoice number, invoice date, all the detail that we have given and also the item quantities. Okay, so now as you can see here, we are receiving the information, but what I want to do, I want to just uh, parse the text that we are getting into the JSON so that we can easily read it, okay? So the next step we're gonna do, we're gonna use the parse JSON command, okay? The content is going to be the text from the GPT prompt. So I'm just going to pass the empty array here for the schema. Uh, you can be more precise and you can get your schema from the output of your prompt and use it to generate the schema, but this will also work. The next thing we will do, we will update the actual columns in SharePoint where we are uploading this invoice. So we're going to use update file properties command here and then of course select the site address library name and ID is when the file created because we are updating that file only, okay? Let's go each field that we want and then update it accordingly, right? So we know this parse JSON is gonna give me the entire information. Let me show you how the information is coming in quickly, okay? So we can understand how we can use the information that is coming from this parse JSON to update these individual items. I can test it with my previous run, so I don't need to re-upload the documents. 
Okay, so if you go to the parse JSON, this is how the output looks like. The body of parse JSON, so that's the body, right? And then we have extracted data. After that, we have all these different fields like invoice number, invoice date, right? Vendor address. And then also, if you keep going, then we have item description, item data, all this information, right? So if you notice here, right? If you notice the information here, I'm getting customer name, customer address, but if you look at those item quantity, they are also coming as separate entry, right? Or they are not coming as how it should, if you look at here, correct? So let's go to the prompt, and this can happen. So you need to make sure that you, you are going back, updating your prompt, and then making sure that it work as expected, okay? So I came back to my Power Automate flow, and I'm going for AI prompts, and then I will open the prompt that I created. And what I did here, right? I added this one more line here. So I said one invoice can have multiple item quantity, item descriptions, item unit price, and total. So combine these together as a nested output. Now let's see if I test if this can bring the right information. Okay, so I uploaded a sample document. I'm gonna click test. Okay, so now as you can see, it's saying items and then giving me all this information, right? Okay, and what also you can do, you can just take this copy it and put it here as an example. So this will give the prompt an idea of how it should actually combine the data. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the flow. We're gonna refresh our flow and then try to rerun it and see if we are getting the result as we should. Okay, I'm going to test again. Okay, so now flow runs successfully and now if you see the output of your uh, parse JSON, you're still getting the invoice number detail and everything but then you are getting items and getting all these individual items. So this is how we want, okay? So the title, I'm gonna keep title as my invoice number. So how we get the invoice number, body of parse JSON, that was our action. Then we had the extracted data, right? After that, we have the actual field values, invoice number, and then value. Because this is how the data were there. Select okay. I'm gonna copy the same thing because that's what my invoice number as well, okay? Then we have amount due, okay? So same expression, the only thing will change this invoice number and it will be my total invoice amount. Of course, total invoice amount and value, okay? Similarly for invoice state, same thing, body parts JSON, extracted data, invoice state value. We're gonna keep the invoice date and due date as same. Tax amount is going to be the total tax, okay? And then and then customer address, vendor address, customer name, and customer address, okay? So we're gonna update all these fields here. Then we are going to add a new step because now we're gonna update those individual line item. So if you look at my SharePoint, I also have a list called invoice detail. And this list is nothing but a list where I created the column for description, quantity, and price. And of course, you can go watch my previous video where I showed you what this list are and then creating a lookup column to the parent invoice. So one, creating this one-to-many relationship here. Here we're gonna say create, create item, okay? Site address, list name is going to be the list, okay? Title, we're gonna keep the title as invoice number. So I'm gonna copy this and paste it here out here go to expression and paste it there so this will be my title invoice number is the title and then we have parent invoice id that is nothing but click on the enter custom value this is going to be id of the document that you are working on okay now if you remember more than one items can possibly be available in one invoice so we're going to create a apply to each loop so before this create item i'm going to click and add action Go to control, go to apply to each. And this is where I'm gonna do, okay. So body, of course, parse JSON, that's our action, extracted data, and for each items. Now, if you look at this one, this is, I'm, I'm coming back to my uh, prompt. If you see here in items, we are getting these multiple results, right? 
So what we are saying that we're going to go through each item and up create an item for each. So that's why I'm looping through these items. So the same thing, click OK. And then we're going to move this create item inside this loop. And now what we will do in the description quantity unit price. OK, so we're going to say items of apply to is this is nothing but going to give you the current item of this loop, right? So it will give you in first loop, it will give you this, second this and third this or depending on how many, right? And then we are saying that, OK, for first item, give me item description value. OK, copy it because we're going to reuse this for other. And then for quantity, same thing, you will go to expression, paste, and then it will be item quantity. And the last one is unit price. Click OK, save. OK, now we're going to test it and see if this work or not. OK, so flow actually ran successfully. Now we let's go back and see if actual items is updated. So you can see the all the information has been extracted from this invoice. The number is 9876. If I go to invoice detail and filter for 9876 here, I can see those three items also extracted. Perfect, right? Yeah, so this was the quick video to show you uh, how you can not only just use the pre-built model, but you can also use these prompt to create your own uh, extraction flow. This can, this can be applied to any document that you have and even email or any other information that you're trying to extract information from. The good thing about this method is actually you can just type in what information you are trying to extract and then uh, GPT prompt will gonna train itself to extract that information from any document. This is very useful if you only want to extract certain part of information from a document, not everything that is in the document. Okay, try it. Let me know how it works. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel.